Hi, welcome to another episode of This Is Anything Goes. Today, we are going to dismantle the dashboard. It's going to take time. I'm starting at 5 a.m. So, let's get to it. All right, so what we'll do is we'll start off with the smaller parts of the dashboard that can be dismantled. So, the first thing that I'm going to target is the rubbish under here. Next would be the glove compartment where you just open it. Don't forget the suspension arm here. Once that's out, just push it a bit lower and slot it out. Next up, let's remove this. This would require a screwdriver. There's one um, screw holding it here only. So let's remove that screw. And this should yeah, just pop up. Next, let's remove this bezel. There's only one screw here. Yeah, so for the bezel, there's one screw here. And then you just pull it out. Okay, next thing, let's pull the aircon vent out. Let's pull the aircon vent out. Alright, so no screws, just pull. Okay, I might need something else. This. Okay, so to remove the aircon vent on the passenger side, all you need is a plastic pry tool, put it in, wedge it out. Alright, it might get a bit tricky. Yep, that's it, no screws. Okay. Alright, the next thing we want to remove is the hazard light switch. This is simple. Three screws. Press the sides and it's out, disconnect, done. Alright, then now we will take out the player. If you have seen my upgrade to Android player video, you will know this is just held on by clips. So, just target it. Man, this is tough. Okay, if it's hard, then just use a plastic pry tool to try and wedge it out.
Okay, gotta be careful with the cables at the back. Disconnect all the cables. Okay, that's up. Push all this in. Okay, let's see. Okay, next up, let's remove the bottom panel here. So I see that there is... Okay, seems to be held on by two plastic clips. One here. One here. And it should pop right out. Yes! Okay, so now let's remove the plastic cover under the, whatever you call this, um, you should know where I am. Um, four screws, one, two, three, four, and one uh, clip over there. Okay, then just be good. Oh, I think. Oh no, oh no, no, no. I, my previous wiring would, dip, would not allow that to come out. Oh wait, I'm sorry, there's still a plastic clip there. Okay, that's out, and this comes out, and then I get stuck because of my wiring previously. Ouch! And then what wires are these? This is easy enough. The other one is most likely my GPS wires. Uh, okay. Let's see if I can just tug at it without breaking anything. Maybe not. Okay, yep, that's how you remove it. Alright, so before we move on to any parts of the dashboard anymore let's remove the center console over here all right so to remove this you basically just push this out pull this out And then, um, two screws here.
Okay, I'm buckle this. That's done. Keep the wires. Throw the rubbish. Okay, now to remove this center here, there's two screws here, and then two bolts, uh, 10 mm over here. Okay, once that's done, just lift it up. Okay, so I've gotten asked by one of the subscribers how to remove the aircon switch panel. All right, so there's two screws at the bottom here, two screws at the back. I'm not sure whether you really need to remove those two screws at the back and then two screws on the top here. All right, so once you remove these two and these two, you should be able to take it out. So let's give that a try. And then let's remove the slip here, sorry, the socket here, and it's out. Oh no, wait, there's another socket here. Why is there another socket here? That socket has no purpose. This socket has no purpose. No, it's out, right? So all you need to do is remove one screw, one screw, one screw, one screw, total four screws. Then you can pull it out. Okay, for the side panels. Okay, held on by the screw on the front and the back, then it's all clips. All right, so I'll be doing that side off camera. Okay, so let's remove the panel under the steering column right now so make sure the steering is on all the way up there's two screws here that I've already removed one here and one over here so right after that's removed let's just pull it up okay there are some cables here make sure you disconnect them Okay, I don't know how this one that yet yet yet. Okay, so the next thing we are removing. Oh, by the way, this one you just need to disconnect the connector. Mm. It was a bit hard to film with the. It's a bit hard to record with the camera in the way. So all you need to do is um, just push these two buttons and just pop it out. Yep. All right. So we are gonna remove this small little bezel and the aircon vent. Okay. So just tuck this out. If it's not budging, then just use a plastic wedge. Okay, so it's held on by two clips. One, two. Okay, one, two. Okay, once that's out. Okay, to remove this, same like the... Alright, to remove this, same like the um, left side, the passenger side, you just wedge it out as well. Yep, held on by two clips. Actually more than that, um, four clips. One, two, three, four. Yep. Okay, so to remove the meter cluster, this one, alright, 
at this point of time you just pull it out it's all clips Okay, then disconnect the cable and it's up. Okay, due to the tight spot, I'm moving on to the GoPro. Alright, so to remove the meter uh, panel or cluster or whatever you call this thing. Alright, you have three screws to remove, one on the top, one here and one here. If the screw falls, make sure you try and grab it first. You don't want it to fall anywhere else that you can't see. All right. Then after that, I believe you just pull this out. Okay, so you probably just got to angle it so that you can slide it out, I think. I hope there's no connector. Oh wait, there is a connector. Okay, there's a connector at the back here. Just got to disconnect that. And it's out. Alright. Okay. Okay. Okay, before we dismantle the dashboard any further again, let's look around and see if we can find any of these clips and just disconnect them. Alright. So you just need a long nose plier, push them out. a bit more difficult or maybe not probably just need to dislodge this I mean it doesn't look that difficult probably we need a wretch There you have it. Okay. Try to find as many places or as many wires to disconnect first before you attempt to remove the dashboard. Because the last thing you want is when you are removing the dashboard and there's cables everywhere tying you up.
Just use a long nose plier, press it and push it. Okay, seems clear, I hope. Alright. Okay, next thing we are gonna move is the remove is the A pillar. Alright, to remove the A-pillar, no special tools needed. Just peel off the rubber here and pull at it. Okay, I'm, I'm sorry, that's, um, you need a plier. pillar cover there was a plastic piece over here that you need to just angle it out all right next thing we need to remove is this cover here so just slide it forward here oh, slide it backwards towards you Same thing if you're having any difficulties, just use a plastic wedge. Alright, so yeah. That's how you remove it. If it's if you're having any difficulties, just um, pull it out with the uh, we have plastic wedge also can so there's a six uh, six clips here if you don't remove this you won't be able to assess this bolt here you have to remove the a pillar to assess this bolt up here all right okay switching to GoPro okay reason why I'm switching to GoPro is because I do not know how many bolts I need to remove so yeah I'm starting from the driver's side okay all these are using 10 mm bolts
<coughs> okay, so there's a 12 millimeters there. Okay. More things that I can remove by hand. Ah. Yeah, I think there's a 12 mm down here. Yep, size 12 mm. Okay, let's move on to the other side.
Okay, so with that out of the way, the steering, let's see if it's easier to actually take it out now. I should have done this so I don't damage my teeth. <laughs> Alright. Cool. Okay, that's why I say we have to make sure all cables are removed. Now I'm stuck with one cable and I can't find my plier. Where, oh, where is my client? Where, oh, where is the client? That's a cutter. That's a cutter. That's not a client. Where is my pliers? Oh, okay, here's my plier. Alright, let's give this another try. And it's out! It's out! It's heavy! It's heavy! It's heavy on the earth. Okay, I'm stuck. Okay, I'm stuck. Okay, so it's very heavy on the passenger side because of the airbag. Sure would help if there's two person here. <sighs> oh, no, wait a minute. There's one more cable. This is the GPS <sighs> module, so I'm just gonna rip it out. No, it's not ripping out, it's too tight. I need help. Okay, alright. I'm stuck. Oh, this is tiring. That was the only thing. I was holding it back. Fuck. Oh. Oops. Okay, now that we have removed everything. Alright, so you guys must be wondering why I'm remo removing this um, entire dashboard. Alright, so if you want to know, subscribe, hit the bell button so you get notified on the next update. Alright, that's it. Thank you. Okay, hold on, hold on. That's not the end of the video. I've forgotten to do the summary. Alright, so the video was recorded back in um, December two, 2019, now it's 12 January 2020. Now I'm actually editing the video and I realized I did not do, I did not record a summary for it. Alright, sorry about that. And okay, let's get on to the summary. Alright, total hours spent on this project is about 4 hours. However, um, if you ask me to do it again now, probably two hours. All right. Reason why it took me four hours is because there's a lot of trial and error. There's a lot of um, 
places that I did not understand how to remove and I have to actually try to figure that out. Now, a um, couple of advice on, on this. One, uh, make sure you take photos or video of your remover not to post on YouTube. You, you can if you want to, but um, as a reference point when you're assembling back the dashboard uh, at a later time, because there's a lot of um, um, screws, bolts, nuts, clips that's in the entire dashboard, so you might miss out a couple of them, all right? Um, word of warning, this is actually a very technical uh, DIY, okay? While it does not require a lot of tools, just a screwdriver, 10mm, 14mm, uh, um, spanners, it is very technical, all right? There's a lot of places where you might risk actually breaking the clips as well if you are not careful, okay? So, fortunately for me, none of the clips broke. Um, been assembling it back. I actually, as I, I actually assembled it back a couple of weeks back. Fortunately for me, after the assembly, there's no weird sound. There's no extra screws. There's no missing screws. Thank God. Okay. So, uh, another advice would be for you to actually have two person, especially towards the end of the. Um, DIY where you are removing the main um, dashboard the biggest chunk of it out from the car is good to have two if not you if you are working uh, solo like me you just like in the video you hear me screaming for help <laughs> okay not screaming but groaning for help all right the dashboard is heavy it's chunky and it's a bit hard to angle it out of the car and if you do the same mistake like me whereby there were still two more cables uh, attached to the dashboard while lifting the dashboard out that is not fun at all <laughs> that's not fun at all okay um, what I didn't show on the video is that the removal of the steering wheel all right I will have a separate video on that because I think it deserves a video on its own all right but do remove the steering wheel that will make that will make the removal of the dashboard much easier else just like my mistake, all right, I scratched my teeth on two, two places because I did not remove the um, steering wheel first and I was trying to angle the dashboard out. Don't do that same mistake, all right? It's heartbreaking to see your expensive tinting um, scratch up or peel off. In my case, it was actually one side scratch, one side peel off, all right? All right, now let's talk about why we remove the dashboard from the car all right uh, mainly because unexpectedly my compressor jammed and i had to replace it so since i'm going to replace the compressor i might as well replace the cooling coil and everything else that's why you see the ac series all right and because of this i will have part five of the soundproofing series um, soon as well whereby we will be soundproofing the dashboard and in the near future, we will have other videos like the removal of the cooling coil, the uh, rebuild of the cooling coil. Uh, that, that probably ends the AC series. And for the soundproofing series, it will be coming to an end soon as well. All right, probably another two more videos. One is the dashboard, another will be the door panels. Um, yeah, but we do have a lot more other future projects coming on for this car. All right, I can only drop you hints of a uh, couple of words, 360, but I, all right. So yeah, I guess that's all I have to, to talk today. Okay, so as usual, if you like this video, hit the like button. If you dislike it, hit that, but leave us a comment on how to improve further, all right. And if you think your friends can benefit from this video, hit the share button. If you want to see more of this face, hear more of this horrible voice, hit subscribe, all right? Because every subscription counts and hit the bell button so you get notified on our future updates, all right? Till next time, see ya.